guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to be doing the get to know the fantasy reader tag. This tag is based off another tag which is get to know the romance reader tag and the book pusher who actually tagged me is the one that changed some of the questions around to fit a fantasy reader. So let's get into it. Number one, what is your fantasy origin story or what's the first fantasy book you remember reading? The first fantasy book that I remember the title of and concretely reading was Harry Potter back in fifth grade but I know for a fact I read other fantasy-ish paranormally inspired-ish books before then, but I just don't remember the titles. It was just things I would go to my school library and check stuff out and read them and I just have no recollection of what they were. And around the same time I was reading Harry Potter I was actually really invested in the Redwall series by Brian Jocks. That is a fantasy series where the main characters are all little animals. <laughs> and is very well loved and adorable and I actually loved that more than Harry Potter because as many of you might know because I talked about it a lot I didn't actually finish the Harry Potter series until I was an adult I read the first three books as a kid stopped and then read the rest of them in college so the one that actually like more so defines my fantasy start is probably Redwall. Question number two if you could be the hero or heroine in a fantasy novel who would be the author and what's one trope you would insist be in the story? So I want to choose Erin Morgenstern because her worlds are worlds I actually want to live in a lot of fantasy worlds I don't actually want to live in, but I can't really think of a fantasy trope that I really want to have in the story with her writing it. Then I also thought of Rashni Chakshi, who I think could write me into a story, and then she could give me a Hades and Persephone romance, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's tough to pick an actual like fantasy trope because I don't want to be the chosen one, you know, like some of these kinds of things. So... I think the easiest one to go for is the Rashi Chakshi with the Higgins Persephone romance. What can I say? Number three, what is a fantasy you've read this year that you want more people to read? I kind of have like two answers for this. My favorite book of the year thus far is The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden, so the whole Winter Night trilogy is what I would want people to read, but I understand that this last book you can't just jump into, so that's a big undertaking. And the other book I read at the end of last year, so it kind of counts because we're only three months into this year. That is Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. More people need to read this and it's the first book and you just, you got to. I've screeched about it a lot. Read it. Number four, what is your favorite fantasy subgenre and what subgenre have you not read much from? I'm actually gonna look up like the official list of fantasy subgenres. Okay, I'd say my favorite which I should have known before even going into this, is dark fantasy, which is stuff that I've talked about before. I moderated a whole panel at Booknet Fest about dark fantasy and it was just, yeah, but fantasy that has like darker elements, but I don't want horror. It's not what I want, but I like fantasy with dark elements. I do like grim dark as well, although I haven't read a lot of the like classic grim dark stories yet, but I do like some of those like darker worlds and stuff. I'm also a big fan of sword and sorcery and I think a lot honestly, of like YA fantasy and stuff, in particular a sword and sorcery, but I think sword and sorcery is the big one. So I read a lot of the fantasy subgenres, so I think the one that I read the least of is urban fantasy. Urban fantasy is one of the ways I kind of got into fantasy. I didn't mention the fact that in high school I read a lot of urban fantasy, particular one author, two series of hers, Laurel K. Hamilton, talked about her a lot, but these days I don't read a ton of urban fantasy because it tends to just follow similar tropes and just I'm not super interested in it at this point so that's one that I don't tend to read a lot of. I only have one series right now that I'm reading that would be considered like urban fantasy. Number five is who is one of your autobi fantasy authors? I mean if you see my shelves it's basically all fantasy. <laughs> so most of my autobi authors are fantasy authors. I can't honestly pick just one. There's so many autobi fantasy authors at this point. I think I've done a video on favorite fantasy authors, but I'm not sure. But if I did, I will link it on the screen. Okay, for this, I'll just do a brief one of like people whose books I've read almost all of instead of people whose series are still coming out and like that's why I'm auto buying them. You get what I mean? Aaron Morgenstern, Lee Bardugo, Marie Rutkowski, even though I haven't got them in Night Lie yet, but I will. Claire Legrand, uh, Mary E. Pearson is iffy now because I didn't like her other series, but I probably would still go for it. Rashi Chakshi, Susan Dennard, Catherine Arden, N.K. Jemison, Naomi Novik, Tasha Suri. I think those are the big ones. Number six, how do you typically find fantasy recommendations, Goodreads, YouTube, podcast, Instagram? It's YouTube. <laughs> like, it's absolutely YouTube. I mean, at this point, I know most things that I want to read. I have series that I'm catching up on that are kind of considered like some of the modern canon stuff, like, you know, the Liza Locke Lamora, the Sanderson stuff, all of that. But also, 
it just tends to be stuff people recommend on YouTube and Twitter. I mean, I follow a lot of YouTubers on Twitter and then they're talking about things on Twitter. So it's kind of the same. Number seven, what is an upcoming fantasy release that you are excited for? I recently did a most anticipated spring releases, so I will link that on the screen because that goes over all of it. The first book that comes to mind is probably Shorefall from Robert Jackson Bennett. But there's a lot of fantasy releases on that list. So many. Number eight, what is one misconception about fantasy you would like to lay to rest? The book pusher also talked about this, but the fact that people do still think it is a boys club. It's conflicting because the boys do get the most hype. People do talk about the white male authors that we all know as like the top tier, you have to read these blah blah blah, and those books are still good, but there are so many female authors that are writing fantasy and doing a great job with it. Just like all of my autobi authors were basically women, so it's not just like a boys club. But also I think there's this misconception that it's like all high fantasy and really hard to get into when in reality like most fantasy isn't just like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones or something that's considered way more complicated. Like I do like really good world building like that but there's plenty of other fantasy like I mentioned urban fantasy, just like low fantasy, contemporary fantasy which is a little bit of magic mixed in our world. Like, there's so many kinds of fantasy and I think people get really intimidated by these like big epic fantasies when that is just a very small portion portion of the fantasy genre. Number nine, if someone had never read a fantasy book before and asked you to recommend the first three books that come to mind as places to start, what would those recommendations be? I can't just like across the board recommend something to someone. So if someone came up to me and said, I've never read fantasy, recommend me three books, I would then ask them questions like, what kind of books do you read now? Like, are you a more literary person? In that case, I would recommend these kinds of authors. Are you more of a contemporary person? In that case, I'd recommend these kinds of authors or like this kind of fantasy. Do you tend to like romance in your books? Etc. So I guess I'll kind of pick one from each kind of category there, but really there's no like across the board, this fantasy will work for everybody because it won't. If someone really likes literary fiction, I'm gonna recommend The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern is close to universal recommendation for me, not because I think everyone will like it, because I in fact know people do not, but I'm like, I love it, so read it. But like, for an actual recommendation, I would probably recommend this mostly to like literary people. I think Uprooted by Naomi Novik is a good intro to fantasy. This is kind of towing the line between YA fantasy and adult. It has like its roots kind of in fairy tale. It's sort of a very loose Beauty and the Beast retelling, so you're gonna have those kinds of beats that people will get. It's not a super complicated magic system and it's pretty plot driven, so I think this is gonna be a good bet for somebody that maybe reads more contemporary or just like hasn't really gotten into fantasy at all. And even with that, somebody that likes historical fiction, I'd probably recommend her Temer rare series because it's just the Napoleonic Wars with dragons and not like much magic and stuff. And then if someone likes romance I'd probably go for The Winner's Crime by Marie Kowski. This is a very like low fantasy story. There's a little bit I think of like maybe alchemy in it but otherwise there's not a lot of magic. It's more like political intrigue. It's not our world but it's not anything super you know expansive and whatever and there's a lot of like romance elements in here. So I think those are my three basic racks. But honestly, I'm looking at all these books on my shelf and it's like, I can recommend a lot of these based on what people are into. There's like heist stories. There's, you know, you can't just across the board recommend books. And this is like my nightmare because anytime someone asks about booktube in like normal life, they're like, recommend me a book. And I'm like, I can't. And number 10, who was the most recent fantasy reading content creator you came across that you'd like to shout out? Oh man, I haven't really come across anybody recently. I just have subscribed to the same people for quite some time and haven't necessarily found new people. But if people start doing this tag, then I can find more people. The YouTube algorithm and the YouTube search engine is complete garbage, so it's impossible for me to find just like fantasy people that I don't already know about. I really love Joss from Yogi with a book who reads not only fantasy but a bunch of other stuff. I like Holly from Holly Hearts Books, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of the rest of the fantasy creators I watch are like OG people, like What Cast Red, and then like all the booktube SFF people. So there's so many, but they're not people that I newly discovered. But again, I'm gonna watch this tag. And then obviously it's time to tag people. I haven't done a tag in so long. This is like bringing me back. I think I will tag people I've already mentioned in this video. Joss from Yogi with a book. Cass from What Cass Read. Sarah Jane from The Book Life. Because I feel like, girl, you want to have like things to film, right? So like, I'll, I'll say that. And then Najiri from The Onyx Pages, because I think her answers would be super interesting as well. So that is it for the get to know the fantasy reader tag. Comment below, let me know some of the answers to these questions for you, or if you found any of my answers interesting. These are things you probably already know, but it's nice to talk about fantasy books. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.